Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Sprinta here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Sunday, January 10th, 2021. Free pick coming up in NFL action. We'll get to that in just a moment. If you have yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can use on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. Coming up, another big day in basketball and football yesterday. Just one NFL play yesterday, but we cashed uh, with the LA Rams. They got the outright win over Seattle. College basketball, another winning day led by a seven-star play on Seton Hall. Uh, they got us the money, getting the win over the DePaul Blue Demons. Those seven-star plays, by the way, in college basketball, we haven't released a lot of them, just four on the season, but we're a perfect 4-0. College basketball sides going back to November 26th, now up over $3,300 for $100 per unit betters. As far as college football and NFL combined, after the win with the Rams, we're now hitting 75% on our current run. We are up almost $5,500 for those wagering just $100 per unit. And I do have a seven-star play on Sunday in the NFL. Got a seven-star side three-star total in Monday night's college football championship and my six-star and up six-star seven-star eight-star plays over at DocSports.com are on a 73% winning run and we are up over $6,600 for those wagering just $100 per unit so a lot going on we've got the college basketball five-star going on Sunday you can grab my NFL right now NFL plus the college football championship led by the seven-star side in Sunday's NFL that's available right now also, after passing in Saturday's NBA back on Sunday with two underdog sides, so you can check that out if you wish also in the NBA. PGA final round matchup also posted. You'll be able to get that on Sunday morning on my homepage at DocSports.com. So a lot going on for me, as you can tell. And let's punch up the line right now because we're looking at the clash between uh, the um, Bears and the Saints on Sunday. And the line right now for the most part is 10, some 10 and a halfs out there. Uh, we actually, yesterday here on the Free Pick Report, we gave out the Washington football team plus the points and depending on when you got it you either pushed or cashed in all likelihood we also won with Stanford in college basketball but after giving that big dog yesterday we're going to go against a lot of these trends and we're going to jump on New Orleans and, and give them as our free pick opinion on Sunday I mean when you look at what this Chicago Bears team has done against playoff teams. They've lost five in a row. They've not only lost five in a row, but they've lost those games by a combined 59 points, almost 12 points per game on average. And, you know, you're talking about, a lot of people talk about this offense that's starting to come around. Trubisky, a quarterback. Take a look at who they played. They got whacked last week against Green Bay. Uh, before that, they had, what, four games in a row against weak opponents. Now that they're going up against New Orleans and you're talking about the number two ranked defense in defensive DVOA, I think they're going to find the going tough. These teams did play a couple of months ago. New Orleans got the three-point win. It's a different Chicago offense right now. And yeah, we know that New Orleans hasn't had everybody completely healthy on offense. And that goes back for most of the season if you want to throw Michael Thomas into the mix. So it is a situation that this team knows how to bring it together with the players that are on the field. And I believe that New Orleans is going to get out in front of this one. And that just changes what Chicago wants to do, especially with Trubisky at quarter Quarterback. He's not going to be the kind of quarterback normally who's going to lead you from behind with his arm. So we're going to back the New Orleans Saints here. Again, going against some of those big underdog wild card playoff trends and recommending to play on the Saints minus the points on Sunday. All right. And again, don't forget the star of the show for me on Sunday is the NFL card with the college football bonus seven star side. Obviously not the clash between the Bears and the Saints, but a seven star side in Sunday's NFL. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Let's put Sunday in the win column. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.